the, the engineering doesn't, you know, it'll, it'll still stay with weight trim. You know, they've been the city's primary engineering firm for, I, I don't even know how long. I don't know. Dave, do you have an idea how old how the record date? For Cindy, yeah. That sounds good. Change the funding source. It was originally uh, uh, with the JAG grant. We would like to change it to state forfeiture. Um, that would free up some JAG funds for the emergency emergency alert system, which we are working on uh, improving and updating. Does anyone else have a yeah. yeah. I think it was yeah. supposed to be on number seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number seven is the carnival application. <laughs> and, um, I don't think we have any questions. Well, yeah. I think that's a pretty nice little carnival, frankly. Is this the, do you know, is this the same carnival that they uh, historically used there? The same company? Yes. I want to say no. So I want to say, say I didn't recognize the names. Yeah, no, you know, they're, I think they're a newer carnival. You know, one, one, thing we may, one thing we may want to consider in the future um, related to these carnivals is, is not approving multiple weekends like we did at the one at uh, Handy Andy you know, and Gibraltar Trade Center because they, they set up on one weekend and they leave it there the whole week until the next weekend. And so, you know, we, we received a lot of complaints about that this past, uh, you know, what a couple weeks ago with that carnival. I think we should, you know, relook at that in the future. Well, I think it was a 10 day carnival because, you know, I, you know, I live right there. So they parked everything <laughs> along the wall yeah. right there. And then they kind of used that as a storage place while they were running. And I think they were using the same trucks to run back and forth. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I really don't have a lot of complaints with that. They, they clean everything up fairly well. We received they quite a few just, this time. They do leave, they get there early and they leave their stuff longer yeah. than probably. Well, you know. I, I know when we get our fees, Schedule in May. I, I believe we were talking about, you know, maybe changing the, yeah. the application fee. Because right. that's all you yeah. get on that is the just that permit fee. And all right? the stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like right. the electrical inspector fees and the special event permit fee. But right. my office is two hundred dollars fee, and that also includes the fire inspector. Okay. So. Yeah. So will that well, be on that list of fees that will be approved here in the future, probably? Carnival. Carnival's yeah. on there. Okay. January for the increase because that's like the early thing and that would give them you know, time. And, and even if what, I, what I'm suggesting is is that we reconsider when there are multiple weekends yeah, like that, that we, or we require that they take it down and move it off site or something if it's not going to be operational, right? Which is a lot more work, but you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but it's it, you know, nobody likes to look at it kind yeah. of. I got a couple big bears. The twirly ones. Okay, no, number eight is um, a motion to approve the clerk to dispose of a uh, Troy built generator, and he sold it off. Yeah, basically they contacted us, the um, auxiliary police, and the way the ordinance. with their auction, they're going to post that. They already came forward and secured a date for an auction, but with they have to redo it. There was some steps in it. So they're going to redo that. They're going to come forward with a new date to dispose of their items that they have under $500, and then that money will go, this money along with the money they collect will go to whatever, you know, account they want to do. Kind of like the gun auction? Yeah, I, 
had never really been involved before because there was a huge language dollars. So this was new to me. So, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask whoever auctioned vehicles. Because I know that there was a lot of auctioning that was done. Um, sometimes we do, uh, but we get very, very little for it. Oh, okay. Do we know uh, what they're doing? Are they replacing this? Um, is this something that's not that, that hasn't been in operation? Do, do we... I, I can answer that. Oh, um, when we when we clean out the property room and any uh, property that um, that can be disposed of or hasn't been claimed by a rightful owner, we turn over to the auxiliaries for their for their annual auction. That's how they get a lot of their funding. So this is this is an item that would have been in our property room that we turn over to the auxiliaries to auction off. Okay. Number nine is from planning. Actually, Mr. Mackey, and this is um, proposed capital improvement program. That was, you got it actually. Um, it was that big spreadsheet. This is just basically a wish list for the department. <laughs> Just to receive uh, item number ten is to approve the amended to amend um, CCR number eight thirteen something that was passed in August of thirteen last year to purchase some additional asphalt products for the DPW from Barrett Paving current vendor for an amount not to exceed sixty thousand dollars. I'm sure. Yes. Um, I, I didn't look at this item before it uh, made it to the agenda, and I haven't had a chance to speak to Mr. Mackey about it, but um, I would recommend that we either do one of two things. We either pull this item from the agenda entirely or change the extension if we need a certain amount to continue to work through. Here's the reason. This original item was a request for $20,000. We are now increasing this by 200%. And, and calling it an amendment. It really isn't an, am an amendment. It just needs to go out for another bit. Now, if we need operationally, if we need to increase this by 20% to keep things moving or something, you know, in theory, I'm okay with that. But I think that uh, when you ask somebody to bid on a $20,000 package or a $60,000 package, you're likely, hopefully, going to get better results at $60,000. So, so I think that this is something that we should either pull it from the agenda and put it up for bid or, or amend it to give the, them latitude to keep using it, but you know, increase it by five thousand dollars or something like that. An amendment is is twenty percent, fifteen percent, you know, something like that. But a two hundred percent amendment really is a new bid. I, I have a question for uh, Mr. Mackey. Then, are you like right at your twenty thousand dollar mark right now? I mean, is, it, is, this, is this coal patch products or like it, it is coal patch products, and and quite simply, a good the majority of this is already spent. Uh, I know they have on my street three times so, already and it just keeps falling right, you know. <laughs> so most of this is already spent, so we're covering what we've spent in the in the pothole program and just giving ourselves a little bit to get through the end of the year. So maybe we could figure out what that number is by tomorrow to cover what we've already yeah. spent then and, and approve that and then, you know, put it out for, you know, relook at the numbers and, you know, for, for exact, you know, or like, a, like an amount to carry in through yeah. the next bid. I mean, we will, you'll run into this from time to time, and what happens is, especially with asphalt and concrete, these, these vendors will say, well, I'm going to give you last year's rates, but, you know, it, it, it's, you're changing the scope drastically. I mean, and, and really, it just needs to, you know, we need to just put those out for, for rebids. Well, I think one of the concerns is, too, is, I mean, how much of the product is, uh, you know, are we getting down to a low amount? I'm sure a lot of people have went through a lot of this product. All right. You know, so, I mean, if it's a, an opportunity to maybe get more at a cheaper price, or, you know, get some, so this is basically to finish this up throughout the year. I mean, are we still going through quite a bit, Mr. Mackey? Or? Um, this, this is to finish this throughout the rest of the year. I have, um, the invoices I have here, there's uh, 17,000, 10,000, and the 5,000. Um, so we've got about $32,000 in invoices uh, that are. Uh, we've already exceeded the $20,000. Right. So. So is that a total of 32 or 32 in addition to the 20? This is a total of 32. So we would need an additional of 12 then. 
Because you already have the 20 approved, correct? That would just be right. pay what's already right. been right. found or used. I don't know. Right. And we can get the numbers. I mean, we can get the numbers and, and have, a, have an exact number for tomorrow. But, um, you know, the, 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 these, these types of amendments, I would prefer that we, we rebid them at the, at the higher numbers rather than amend them. And again, it may find that there, there is no difference. I mean, but I think we have to get down to just you know practices that, that we. I would say four for now. Okay. We'll just amend the amount. Are we amending as well? Or are we pulling it? No, we, yeah, we can amend it. Okay. Yeah, we'll let let they run the numbers of what need what is what is you know actual actual. I'll let you know. Okay. 